pickleball. It's a hybrid of tennis, ping pong, and badminton played on a court one-third the size of a tennis court with the same dimensions as a badminton court and a net 34 inches high in the center. Pickleball is played with a paddle. It kind of resembles an oversized ping pong paddle and a perforated ball that sort of looks like a wiffle ball. Joel Pritchard, a congressman from Washington State, and Bill Bell, a prosperous businessman, played golf one Saturday in the summer of 1965. When they got home to Pritchard's house on Bainbridge Island in Washington, close to Seattle, they discovered their families lounging around with nothing to do. Pritchard and Bell searched the property for some badminton gear in order to use the ancient badminton court, but they were unable to locate a complete set of racks. They improvised. They began playing using ping pong paddles and a plastic ball that had holes punched into it. They volleyed the ball over the net at the badminton height of 60 inches. The ball bounced beautifully on the asphalt. As the weekend went on, the net was soon lowered to 36 inches. At Pritchard's house the next weekend, Barney McCallum was given his first taste of the game. Soon, the three men established rules that extensively incorporated badminton. They stayed true to the original intent, which was to offer a game to the entire family so that everyone could enjoy it. The first permanent pickleball court was built in 1967 in the backyard of Bob O'Brien, a friend and neighbor of Joel Pritchard. A corporation was established to safeguard the invention of this new sport. The pickleball story later appeared in the National Observer. It was followed by one of America's newest racket sports in Tennis Magazine in 1976. Things took off. The first pickleball competition ever recorded took place in South Center Athletic Club in Washington in the spring of 1976. Men's single champion David Lester finished ahead of Steve Peranto in second. College tennis players who knew very little about pickleball made up a large portion of the participants. They actually practiced with a plastic ball the size of a softball and big wooden paddles. To maintain the expansion and improvement of pickleball, on a national scale, the United States Amateur Pickleball Association was established March of 1984, and the first rule book was officially released. At the age of 72, Joel Pritchard passed away. Even though he served as the Lieutenant Governor of Washington State from 1988 to 1996, he is arguably best known for his involvement with the invention of pickleball. In the timeline, the Pickleball Stuff website lists 39 known locations to play in North America. This represents around 150 different courts as well as 10 states and 3 Canadian provinces. But things didn't stop there. According to the USAPA website, there were 420 sites to play in North America as of 2008. That represents around 1,500 separate courts as well as 43 states and 4 Canadian provinces. And fast forward 10 years later, after being on ABC's Good Morning America with a brief demonstration, things took off. And in that decade, they grew to around 7,000 sites and 21,000 pickleball courts in the United States. Astronomical growth. The USA Pickleball Association collaborated with PicketballTournaments.com to create and introduce the first player ratings for tournaments that are based on results of the sport. And as they move forward, in order to better correspond with the U.S. sports regulatory bodies, the USA Pickleball National Championships were already underway. So USAPA changed its name to USA Pickleball. A fresh new website and a new contemporary logo were also part of the brand. In 2021, the USA Pickleball membership crossed the 50,000 mark and had just over 53,000 members. The 2021 Margaritaville USA Pickleball National Championship hosted by Pickleball Central was the biggest tournament to date, with over 2,300 participants jumping in the fun. While researching pickleball for today's episode, I came across an interesting statistic. 98% of married couples who play pickleball as partners end up needing marriage counseling. That's a joke, of course. Try playing the sport. You'll understand that one. These are interesting things with JC.